To date, seven stars have officially played James Bond in the franchise's history, which has spanned more than 60 years. After Sean Connery came David Niven, George Lazenby, Roger Moore, Timothy Dalton, Pierce Brosnan, and Daniel Craig. Now that Daniel Craig has bowed out, the role of 007, the world's most famous spy, is available for the first time in 17 years. So stay tuned and don't go away, because we're about to reveal an update on who will play the next James Bond, plus likely candidates for the most most coveted leading role in Hollywood. First up, who will play the next James Bond? It's impossible to say. At the time of this recording, it's impossible to say who will play the next 007, because the casting process hasn't even started. Bond producer Michael G. Wilson explained, We've tried looking at younger people in the past, but trying to visualize it doesn't work. Remember, Bond's already a veteran. He's had some experience. He's a person who's been through the wars, so to speak. He's probably been in SAS or something. However, there is one casting characteristic that will completely eliminate large swaths of potential actors from playing the iconic role. Nobody over the age of 40 will stand a chance getting the role. Wilson added, Bond isn't some kid out of high school that you can bring in and start off. That's why it works for a 30-something. One thing we do know for certain is that the new Bond will have to be reimagined because the character constantly evolves, and that's in large part what makes the franchise so exciting and fun. Because Bond is always evolving, it means that he can be non-white, of any race or ethnicity. The only caveats are that Bond has to be British, and, at least for now, he can't be a woman. Next up, who are some of the likely candidates that might fill the shoes of Hollywood's most famous spy? You're about to find out. Liam Hemsworth could be in line to play the next Bond. He's the right age, has good looks, and he'd actually be the first vegan Bond. The issue with Liam, however, is that he may not have the requisite acting chops to pull off such a role. The films Liam has starred in have certainly not been the best, and some observers question whether or not he has the acting chops needed to pull off the role, which can be very complex at times. Another potential name jockeying for the role of Bond is Andrew Garfield. Garfield's fans are keeping their fingers crossed that he'll be able to snag the part, and because Garfield was born in Los Angeles, the idea that he could be the first American Bond is definitely interesting. Not only would Garfield be the first American to play the part, but he'd also be the first Jewish Bond as well. Another name that keeps popping up is Will Poulter. Poulter received an Emmy nomination for Dope Sick, and while he's not done with big action blockbusters yet, the dapper 6 foot 3 inch tall leading man would also be the tallest Bond ever. So far, Sean Connery was the tallest at 6 foot 2, and Daniel Craig was the shortest at 5 foot 10 inches tall. Out of the three potentials we've just mentioned, which do you think would be best suited for the part? Liam, Andrew, Will, or none of them? We'd love to know what you're thinking, so drop those comments down below. Up next, does Aaron Taylor Johnson have the necessary acting chops to bring the legendary James Bond character to life? Absolutely. In November of 2022, a new potential Bond actor's name began floating around. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Aaron is known for playing Action Man in Avengers Age of Ultron, Godzilla, and Tenet. Taylor Johnson recently went for a secret screen test with Bond producers, including Barbara Broccoli at Pinewood Studios, and rumor has it, he nailed it. Apparently, Harry Styles is also interested in playing 007, but he's about a decade too young to play James. It'd be nice to see Harry rocking Roger Moore's extravagant 70s wardrobe all over again, though. Sope Dirisu from Gangs of London would be one of the more exciting picks for James Bond. For Dirisu, going after the bad guys for God and country would be a big change, but he possesses the same blend of sensibility and ruthlessness that Barbara Broccoli liked in Daniel Craig. An actor whose name keeps coming up is Nicholas Holt. He's 32 and can handle all of the action stuff. And for those of you who may not remember, Holt played one of the crazy guys spraying chrome paint onto his teeth in Mad Max Fury Road. Most importantly though, Holt is an actor searching for calling card roles. In other words, he's at a point in his career where he really needs to make something big happen. And of course, there's no calling cards that are bigger for a young actor than James Bond. Stay tuned and don't go away, because we're reviewing potential candidates that can fill Daniel Craig's shoes to play the most famous spy in history, Agent 007. Next up, could Damson Idris be the next James Bond? Let's have a look.
British actor Damson Idris was looking dapper in a Prada suit when he was stopped on the red carpet by an interviewer who told him he'd be the perfect successor to Daniel Craig for James Bond. Not surprisingly, Damson's response was enthusiastic. He said, It's an iconic character, I will say that. I don't know. Do I look like I could play James Bond? You never know. Anything could happen. You heard it first, Hip Hollywood. Bond is about to be black. At 30 years old, Damson's a tad bit young for the part, but he's soft on the eyes, British, and can act with the best of them. Another possible candidate for Agent 007 is War Dogs and Top Gun Maverick star Miles Teller. Rumors are swirling that Teller could be eyeing the role of Bond. There is one person, though, who's really hoping that Teller lands the iconic role. Her name's Leona Flowers, and she's Miles' grandmother. Leona tweeted, He has everything they're looking for. Talent, looks, strength, worldwide appeal, and oh so cool. He can be that guy. The folks in London loved him when he was just there for the premiere of Top Gun Maverick. He even charmed William and Kate. Personally, and no offense to Miles, I think he's a terrific actor, but him playing Bond? I don't see it. What do you think? Would Miles Teller play a great James Bond even though he's American? I mean, I guess he could fake a British accent. After all, that is part of what actors do. But I'm not convinced that Miles is the right man for the job. Share your thoughts in the comments section. I'd love to know what you're thinking. Up next, which actor is absolutely dying to play James Bond? You're about to find out. At 39, actor Aidan Turner is just about the right age to play Bond, and he looks like a million bucks in a tailored suit. Also, there's precedent for an Irish Bond with Pierce Brosnan, Irishman Cillian Murphy, and Michael Fassbender are apparently also interested in playing Bond, but Aidan wants it very badly, and some say he's the one with the best shot. Another potential candidate is Tom Hopper from Netflix's The Umbrella Academy and Game of Thrones. Hopper has heard about the speculation that he'd be a good fit for Bond, and says, Yeah, I've heard that. And that's… that's all I've heard. I mean, any British actor will be lying if they say that James Bond wasn't up there as a dream role. So you know, it's very nice to be in that conversation, you know, among betting websites. At 36, Hopper's the right kind of age, clean cut, and ripped. But he hasn't had a breakout role yet, which is essentially a prerequisite for playing a character of Agent 007's stature. Some Bond fans are also calling for slumdog millionaire megastar Dev Patel to play 007. Currently, Dev is directing and starring in the action thriller Monkey Man slated for release later this year. And if he were selected to play Bond, it would make him the first actor to have directed a film before playing Bond. I love Dev. I think he's great. But something tells me he's not the right man for the job. Actually, that something is Dev's own words. He once said, I don't know what I would like to play, but I know what I'm afraid of playing, those big studio movies. If that's the case, his joining the biggest film franchise in the world doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Finally, could Idris Elba be the new James Bond? Honestly, I I love all things Idris Elba. He's a terrific actor, and if now is the time for a non-white Bond, Idris is definitely the best leading man for the job. If Idris does get the part, it would be historic for a franchise that for 60 years has always seen white males playing the titular character. British actor Roger Jean Page could be in the running to play the next 007. During an interview, Page said, Ah, the eight word. I think if you're British and do anything of note that other people take notice of, then people will start talking about that. That's fairly normal normal, and I'm flattered to be in the category of Brits that people have noticed. The concept of having plans at this moment in history is mildly hilarious. I'm giving up making them. Another potential candidate to play James Bond is Irish film and TV star Cillian Murphy. I love Cillian. He's an absolute joy to watch on screen, but doesn't he feel more like a Bond villain rather than Bond himself? Bond rumors have swirled around Murphy for some time now, and we know that he can play a gun-toting hard man, and we're familiar with his critically acclaimed work over the past two decades on both indie and blockbuster studio films. Unfortunately, Cillian's 46 years old, so there's no way he'll ever play 007. But I can't wait to see Cillian in Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, a biopic about the father of the atomic bomb. Others hope that Outlander star Sam Hewen will bag the role of Bond. Hewen auditioned for Bond once already, and says, I went in with a script, and they were like, we might get you to read something from this scene, but they don't tell you what it's from. After that, I was taken upstairs and met Barbara Broccoli and Martin Campbell, the director at the time. There was a golden gun on the table, I guess from the man with the golden gun, and we sat around a very large wooden table and talked a bit about Bond. That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.